good morning, witch having What the? What the frick? There, now that's better. Good morning, white shipping enthusiasts and newbies. Welcome into the rabbit hole with Cal Shames. Today, we're doing a video on slants. I'm not going to give you much history, just opinion, uh, just a bit of a review, and just a straight shave. So, anyway, I got a few to pick from. I got this nice display rack from Richard Richter of Richter's Customs. Uh, I will put his Etsy page down below. Got several to choose from. What I'm going to use is Razor Rock Stealth. They don't make these anymore as far as I know, and they're hard to come by and expensive as hell. Also, using PAA Eclipse Slant. Weird looking little beast, but I had a quick look into it. We've also got uh, Maggard's Slant. Icon. 102. Offerts made in Germany. We got this big behemoth by GBS. Same or similar head as the stealth. Fun accoutrements. Super light slant. Maggard's 39C Bulldog. I also have the 37. I've got it lent it. And PAA Big Light Slant. Now this is a replica of the Walbush Ecliptical. And they also call it the Humback. They also, um, they made it in Big Light and they also made an adjustable version of it. If you come across one and you'd like to give it to me, I would appreciate that because I looked on eBay, they're rare as hell, and the one I saw on eBay was about 500 bucks US. So if you have one you'd like to give me, I won't say no to it. Anyway, uh, as requested by Jason Bryan, Distorted Edge Shaving, I have loaded these with a feather because he gets a kick out of watching me try not to slice my face. Use feather in this one because I'm cheap. Brand new feather in this. I haven't used either of these two razors before. I've used the PAA Big Light, I've used the Sledgehammer, I've used my uh, 37, uh, yeah, the Magger. Really enjoy those. So anyway, got my lather already made up. Uh, watched Jason Bryan Distorted Edge Shaving, watched his video the other day about how to make a better lather. So get that made up in advance. Using Samoa Owners Club, best badger that he lent me. Don't really have much luck with badges, we'll give this a try. So, anyway, uh, we'll get the face wet. Like I said, not a whole lot of history for you guys today. Just a quick shave. I'm off to meet with the boys in Dartmouth, Nova Scotia for a meet of East Coast Addicts, which I'm looking forward to. And then I'm gonna go drive another three hours to visit my family. Uh, in Southwest Hope for a couple of days. I haven't seen them since the summer. As requested by Jason Bryan, I am using a sample he gave me of Declaration Grooming. And I had to look on YouTube to figure out how the hell to say this. Uh, Trismegistus. Tris Tris it is a bison tallow, grapefruit, orange, flint, pink peppercorn, geranium, base notes of benzoin, vetiver, and cedar. So, not quite the way Jason Brown does it, but. He's got a full face to fart work with. I all got to deal with we're getting around the beard, the goatee. So. We'll get this done, get my car packed up, and then go down and visit, uh, visit the boys for a few hours and go visit my family. Anyway, 
What I love about slants is they're extremely mild, but extremely efficient in my opinion. And then go with the grain. There's your rock still. It's aluminum, extremely light. The theory with a slant is that it works like a guillotine. It doesn't chop. It uses a slicing motion just like a guillotine does. That's the theory. And I find I can get two pass BBS. Whereas with other razors, gotta get the angle on this right. I might have to do three passes. Very light touch with these. Might take a little bit to find the angle on that. Also, where that head is so big, it's uh, luckily I've grown my mustache, so I don't try and get up under my nose. But uh, the other thing is, guys, when you use these things, don't try to compensate for the angle of the blade. You see how the angle of the blade is there? Don't turn it this way. That's not the point. The point is to leave it this way so your blade is cutting this way. And like I said, it's doing more of a slicing motion. Okay. On the right side, I'm going to use the Eclipse. Never used one before. I know that uh, my buddy Darren Shaver has some videos. I haven't watched one of his, uh, the video of his in a very, very long time. So I'm going, again, I don't like to watch previews. And reviews before I do my own shave. I want to have my own opinions. I'm keeping the peak of this flat against my face. That's what I'm trying to do because that's what I remember him doing. You see, this one's got the used feather in it. This one is a very, very light. Like I said, it's bake light. 22 ounce or 22 grams, which is about three quarters of an ounce. It is ugly as hell, but in a, in a cool way. Uh, I love the idea of this. Like I said, I love the fact that there are so many artisans who spend time with history and learning. And like I said, just like nothing. Mow that through like nothing. A little bit under here, like I said, because the angle underneath my beard, my goatee is a little bit. Get lathered up, do pass number two. Like I said, if you haven't watched Jason uh, Jason Bryan's video about how to make a lather, and you think, but you think you know it all, still, go back and watch, like I said. I think his video is about 15 minutes long. And very, I love his choice of music he always uses in his videos, you know. Some of his videos are just kind of fun, some of them are more tutorial. You know, he tries to put information, same thing like what I try to do. Try to be informative and entertaining. If you guys aren't entertained, you guys aren't going to watch. Like I said, I've never had luck with a badger. But watching his video and learning how to do it better made all the difference. Like I said, nice, thick, rich lather. It's got an interesting scent on it. It's not something I'm used to. It's not a scent that I would normally go for. Like I said, that's just a subjective thing. We all have our things that we really like, our sense that we really like. But like I said, he gave it to me in a sample, and uh, that's one thing about the guys in this community. They're great for giving out samples, giving out blades, you know? Hey, you want to try this blade? Hey, here's a free pack. Okay. Anyway, going back to the Razor Rock still. Aluminum, kind of light. It's got a long handle on it. Uh, a little light for my liking. That being said, done with using bake lights, but uh, the aluminum just... I'm gonna go against the grain. I'm 
little bit hard to do skin stretching when you're when you're uh, when you're so or when your face is all slick as hell from the soap. Now, for a lot of guys, against the grain causes a lot of irritation, so just super feather light touch. And I think I messed up. I think I went against the green in the first pass. I wasn't paying attention. Oh well. Still mow it down. In my opinion, these things look aggressive as hell. But like I said, just use a super light touch. And I won't have, you know, you won't have a problem. A buddy of mine, I did land my first PA bake light too, and uh, he did some curse and swear, and he cut his face real good with it. Mind you, I also lent him, or gave him, my Razor Rock 37 German Slant, which has got the same head as the uh, uh, Macur. 39 and uh, 37, other than the fact it's a three piece where those ones are, uh, uh, yeah, these are, yeah, they're two piece, so it seems to all head. He liked the 30, he liked the, uh, the German 37, but he said he didn't like the PAA. He said, I find these things great. I'm surprised by this. It's got a really nice feel to it. So you guys know me, I'm not a, I don't dislike feathers, but they're not my favorite blade. Not even close. Like I said, I find Vosh, you know, Vosh gods work in everything I use. Some guys have their preferences, certain blades for certain razors. You know, it doesn't matter if I use a fat boy. Look at a neck. Oh well. And that's why I don't use feathers. And I also don't find the, sh the uh, smoothest blade in the world either. Just a little bit under there. The rest of it is Yeah, right to the almost right to the skin, just a little bit spot there. Ouch. I think I got myself. If I didn't, it sure as hell felt like it. Yeah. Like I said it's been several days I've been out trucking in the main up to Toronto, back to Moncton, New Brunswick again, so yeah, that's good enough. Anyway guys, we're going to pause this, uh, do a cleanup, and then come back. Like I said, I got to get packed up, I want to go spend some time with the boys, maybe, uh, you know, uh, hopefully get a little bit of video for that, and put that in my next video. So, uh, stay around, I'll be back in just a minute. Hey guys, we're back and we're cleaned up. Got a silver underneath the beard, uh, a little bit of irritation there, but nothing too, too much. You said first time using those blades. Uh, those were those razors. Like I said, uh, fresh feather in one of them, two or uh, feather in the other one used about twice. But all in all, a little bit of soap in my beard. Oh, well, I'll get that out later. I I got this. I don't use it very often. Uh, again, uh, distorted edge. Suggest so, yeah, so I use this with my shave, which with those couple of little weavers is going to sting. You know, this stuff is great for moisturizing. I don't use it very often because it's straight nail polish it's straight rubbing alcohol it's uh except it dissipates quite quickly but he suggested it well there that really yeah that's got some sting to it and again thank god for the mustache like i said that would be strong Got that on there, and uh, we'll see how that feels. You know, guys, after running a razor across your face, you know, gotta put something on your face, keep your face from drying out. Anyway, guys, uh, I will post links to, uh, yeah, to Richter Customs. Um, he's got uh, 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 an Etsy store, and he's also got um, an Instagram page, and he might be on Facebook as well, I'll have to look, but like I said, I will post links. Uh, there's only a few things on his Etsy store right now, but as far as I know, he makes them, you know, to order. Like I said, he's got a lot of pictures on his uh, Instagram. Nice guy to deal with, I've talked to him a few times. So there's that. Now also, um, last week, 
I did a video and I'm gonna offer a giveaway. The draw will be December 23rd and it will be for a 12 ouncer of Luther Lather. You go to the Etsy store, you pick the scent, like I said, just the 12 ouncer. Uh, that draw will be December 23rd at five o'clock Eastern, six o'clock Atlantic. And if you're in different time zones, uh, you can do the math. So anyway, be a subscriber. Uh, put I'm in in the comments below of that video. And please check out my other videos. And if you like them, pass them on to your friends. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna check out. It's uh, time to get ready. Time to go visit the boys from ECA. Are gonna go down and meet up at Ed Monk's house. Ed Monk is the owner of Spiffle Grooming. I'm gonna go uh, spend some time with the boys and then go visit uh, my nieces and nephews that I haven't seen in several months. So, you know, guys, you take care. We'll see you again in a few days. Bye bye.